All right, so unfortunate news, guys. We do have two injuries to report. We have Johnny Munt, who is uh, the second string tight end for the Rams. He is unfortunately out for the season. He tore his ACL for the third time in his career. Really feel bad for him. Uh, suffered two ACL tears at Oregon. And uh, in addition to that, unfortunately, the rookie running back, seventh round pick out of Maryland, Jake Funk, also suffered an injury. He is out for the rest of the season, torn hamstring. The Rams have not made any sort of moves to accommodate to those two openings, as those two will go on season-ending IR. However, we're going to talk about who you could see come in to fill those voids, or at least, in a sense, help out with the depth. Um, Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like if you enjoy this video. All right, so right off the bat, um, looking at the running back position, we're going to start off with Buddy Howell, who is a uh, practice squad guy that has been elevated before for the Rams. Very good special team player, a former Houston Texan. The Rams do like him. They prefer him over the uh, the former guy that was in the building originally, Otis Anderson, uh, out of UCF. So Buddy Howell, big bodied uh, running back at six foot one, two twenty five, out of FAU. He's a four year pro. You have the veteran presence there, um, so that might be somebody that they decide to go with in place of Jake Funk. If not, it would be. Uh, the UDFA rookie out of Louisville, five foot nine, 196 pound running back, JV and Hawkins, who's more of a complete back. But I look at him in terms of the long term. This is somebody that can help you in the passing game, the running game, and he's a solid uh, pass protector. Um, has that he's a willing pass protector more so. Um, the thing with him is he's not as well versed as far as the NFL is concerned so if you're looking about a guy that would be a plug-in play um, in that need so to speak you probably feel a little bit better with the four-year pro than the rookie but JV and Hawkins I really do like and I'd love to see him get an opportunity I don't think anyone with that said is going to get a huge opportunity because of this injury of Jake Funk Funk was barely getting any carries I think this really opens up an opportunity as far as he goes on special teams uh, return man is now available since Jake Funk was the uh, kick returner, their go-to kick returner. So that is available. Probably Tutu Atwell will take over, but that's something to keep in mind moving forward. This isn't a huge opportunity. You're not going to get 10, 15, 20 carries. You might not even get one carry, but you know, it's an X man up league and these guys definitely will kill for that opportunity. So you're looking at buddy Howell, the former Houston Texan. He is upcoming. Uh, wearing number 38. They don't even have a number for JV and Hawkins on the Rams site, uh, but JV and Hawkins would be the next guy who was on the roster. I mean, in addition to that, maybe look at, you know, maybe they use Robert Woods a little bit if they want to, you know, kind of change their pace there. He can run out of the backfield as well as 2 2 Atwell, uh, but those are really the only options there. Anything out of house, I don't see unless Sony Michelle goes down with injury and then it opens up things. Uh, in that regard, um, in regards to Sony Michelle, he did suffer a shoulder injury, according to Sean McVay. So that is something to keep in mind, guys, because if that were to linger or if he does go down, I do think the Rams would opt to go outside of uh, the organization, maybe with an Adrian Peterson, maybe with a Todd Gurley, maybe with an Amir Abdullah. Who knows? But I do think that they might venture out of the organization a little bit uh, if Sony Michelle did go down because they they didn't just lose Jake Funk for three weeks, guys. Jake Funk's gone for the year. So because of that, it does open up an opportunity uh, you know, for potentially going into the free agency pool. I don't expect them to do that unless Sony Michelle goes down with an injury. So looking at tight ends here, we have the, of course, the injury to Johnny Munt, who was tight end number two, opens up the door for two guys. This is a bigger role, I think, that's opening up instead of the running back position. This is a potential starter, however you want to call it. Uh, Johnny Munt was getting actual snaps with the offense, whereas Jake Funk really wasn't. So this is a big opportunity here. And while the Rams might alleviate this by playing, you know, more, you know, wide as far as receivers goes, you know, maybe using Deshaun Jackson more, not opting to go with two tight end sets. Um, if they decide to, this would be a huge opportunity for either Bryson Hopkins or Jacob Harris. Hopkins being the six foot four, 245 pound tight end out of Purdue that they drafted in the fourth round uh, last season. 
and you have Jacob Harris, who's the rookie, six foot five, uh, you know, two hundred and eleven pounder out of UCF, a little bit smaller, you know, as far as you know, weight uh, to play the tight end position, and rightfully so. He's been used mainly as a receiver. Got some snaps with the Rams this year, this week, um, you know, against the Giants, and he it was out wide. So I don't expect him to actually be a tight end. I do expect it to be. Bryson Hopkins, but a name to watch in case the Rams don't trust Bryson Hopkins and he's entirely on the roster due to draft status, which would be unfortunate would definitely be a guy by the name of Kendall Blanton, a two-year pro, a guy out of Mizzou that obviously looks the part, and I think he fits the role. Uh, you look at six foot six, 262 pounds, he has the best frame for it, somebody that's shown you his ability in the receiving game, but he's great as a blocker, um, you know, would be a nice plug-and-play uh, fill for what Johnny Munt was doing for the Rams. So that's something to keep in mind. I definitely think they'll take him off the practice squad and elevate him at least at the very least. Um, but I, I don't know if who's going to start necessarily in Munt's place if they go with two tight end sets. It's probably going to be Bryson Hopkins. But take, in, take a bit of a gander and look at the potential of Kendall Bland. He might get some opportunity. It is the next man up league, and so that's something to keep in mind. As far as anybody outside of the organization, I don't see it unless there's a significant injury to Tyler Higby or Bryson Hopkins or or Kendall Blanton, or even Jacob Harris. Another guy that could be an option. He's more of a receiver, just like Jacob Harris, but a guy that's way more of a receiver like than Jacob Harris is Ben Skoranek. Uh, Skoranek is a very good blocker, and I think the Rams could use that to our, their advantage. One of the better special teamers on the roster, rookie seventh round pick out of Notre Dame, six foot three. He bulked up over 220 pounds. So there's a reason for that. I think there's a chance that they could use him in spots at tight end. All in all, I don't expect either of these injuries, as unfortunate as they are, to derail what the Rams are doing right now. They're five and one. They have a really nice home schedule coming up, a really nice schedule in general coming up, and that's going to be something to watch. But at the end of the day, the Rams are going to be fine. I don't expect this to be, you know, a huge loss. Uh, it's something where, you know, if they lose Higby and they start to lose their running backs, it could. Um, but as of right now, the, you know, the initial reaction is that it's I'm more upset for the players. I feel for Munt, who's going through his third ACL tear, and I feel for Jake Funk, a rookie. Anytime you get hurt, that obviously stinks. But then on top of that, you had the two ACLs that you came back from yourself. So just to have this torn hamstring just is really unfortunate. So I wish them all the best in their recovery. And I do wish the guys that are, you know, the next man up, uh, the best, whether it be Howell, whether it be JV and Hawkins, whether it be Harris, whether it be Hopkins, whether it be Blanton or somebody that's not on the roster right now, I'm wishing them their success as well. So that's going to do it. If you guys have any questions about this, you can DM me at JK Bogan on Twitter, but I hope you guys did enjoy this and I will see you guys soon. Later.